Welcome aboard again today, my wonderful viewers. Welcome aboard again today, my wonderful viewers. From what you've just seen, you notice there is a completely different beat, and then the chorus is running that is not even its own original beat. So we are going to be talking about the notch effect. If you look at my keyboard from here, you will see these arrow keys they are being used to notch. So most of the time, some of us don't really know how to use it that much, but I'll be explaining much about it. That is where the concept of counting this beat is very, very important. You first need to understand how to count it. I'm going to be dropping this beat on the one so that you see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then I'm going to drop another sound on it again. You now see. One, two, two, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So let's stop this beat for now. So if you're able to count this, it makes it very easy for you to know at what point do you start the next song that is coming. So the notch effect is actually very, very important, especially when you want to beat match. When you are beat matching, there is that possibility that the two sound that you are putting on each other, synchrona, trying to synchronize, they might not be perfect at a particular point in time. So use that notch effect, just like my thumb, to make sure that they move together. So that in the event that maybe when they start the journey, they are not going like this. When you try to shift it, you now shift this one, then it will now rhyme. Then they now continue to move together. You do it in a way that it might not be noticeable by the audience. Because it's a form of shifting the other track gradually. That is like spinning the wheel. I'll also show you one thing about this notch effect. So that you get to see. When you look at the wave of the two tracks that I have at the top here. You see that there is a very slight gap. Look at the down lines. You see that there is a very slight gap between the blue and the red. The red appears to be a bit backward, but by the time I press these arrow keys, just watch. When I press it, you see it's synchronized. They are now perfectly matched together. If I press it back, you see the gap is increasing. The gap is increasing as I press. So that is the beauty of this notch effect. That I'm going to show you some of the devices that have this particular notch effect so that you get to see what you are talking about so by the time you come to this particular controller look at it this is a very common controller that we know when you look at this particular point where the cursor is you look at it there are some marker on the edge so this is where you, what you use to notch you use it to shift the two tracks so that they rhyme very well perfectly as you play around with the song this is same side too in the event one of the track is not smooth enough they look at it again another one look at it you can see they have small small mark around round, 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 round. so you either spin it clockwise or anti-clockwise so when you are spinning it clockwise it means you are going to be moving it forward and then backward the same thing here forward and backward so when you are rolling it it moves the other track forward slow small in the little bit of fraction that you might not notice it but it's actually move against the usual one look at it again the same thing here you see it's have it you see the if point here on it then we are going to see the mapping for the case of the virtual dj when i raise it then we'll come to our mapper don't forget to use these arrow keys these two arrow keys for the forward and backward so irrespective of how you do it understanding how these beats are moving on each other is very very important that is what we enable you know if one track is which of the track is ahead and which of the track is behind it gives you the opportunity to know which of the track is ahead and which one is behind so i'm going to show you the mapping then we'll demonstrate it you get to see what you are talking about when you come to the mapping come to look at it the arrow keys look at it look at it the notch effect look at it that is notch plus 10 microsecond very simple then if you go to the other key in this case is minus so sometimes you might be moving too forward or too backward you use it this 10 microseconds it means you are going to be moving it at every press on this key you are going to be moving the song 10 microseconds forward the same thing 10 microseconds forward uh, second backward so 
you, this value is adjustable but the 10 microsecond is actually good so don't put it too high you can adjust it to your own taste if you feel it's necessary but to, for me the 10 is okay and you can use any key for individual that are using different mapping but for my own case you can get my own mapper the link is there in the description box check out there are a host of lot of content i have for you there that i really need to benefit from which you also look try the free link if the free link is not going you can use the paid one in as much as the most important thing you get what you are looking for that is just it based on your location so if you have any challenge with that please let me know i will see how we we'll work around it then let me close it for now then we are going to demonstrate it now i'm going to play the same beat i started with then we'll adjust until we we'll go off point so that you get to hear how bad it can be and how good it can be when you are nudging so this is it one two three four five two this is this is it again you see if you are looking at it now if you are listening to it now using a very good earpiece you see that the the song is not running at all but i'm going to be using this notch key to adjust it until both of them run if in the event where you cannot use the notch keys you can use the hot key so that you start it in the point that it will run very well look at it so if you look at it now you see how perfect it went very simple I'm going to stop it. I'm going to bring in another different beat on it. Then we'll see it more. This is it. So if you look at it now, it's scattered. I'm going to use a notch key. Look at it. So if you listen, if you listen to it now, you see everything is rhyme. You can see how the two songs are now flowing very well. If I continue pressing it, one will go against another one. Look at it. You see, it's looking scattered now. Look at it again. So you can see how both of them are now rhyming. They are now flowing very well. Let's continue to enjoy it. Don't forget to keep a date as I continue to give you more content coming your way. Thank you very much for being there. I'm